What is going on guys, today we have got another player review for a 94 rated Blanco. Sebastian Blanco has won the, what is it, the final man of the match for the MLS. So it's very much like uh, Brian we got for the championship. We've got a 94 rated here and that's pretty much it in terms of content for today. I will double check with the objectives but I'm pretty sure I didn't see anything. Um, and EA haven't tweeted anything out. This SBC is an 83 rated with one Argentinian needed. As you can see, we have whacked in big boy Akadi there with the love of his links from the PSG. And then also being able to link them over to the Spanish side. You really want to give up as many Spanish players as you can because it seems to be the massive thing for their SBC. But 83 rated, 70 chem, not really too hard to do. The 70 chem bit does add that little bit of uh, little bit of linkage kind of. But like I said, from any of the upgrade packs, we normally get a lot of Spanish players. So as you can see, we managed to get another award winner into the team. The second one so far. An Argentinian left mid, you can link him with a few. We do have a Tagliafico left back that we will be trying out and then that will link into the icon. So should be not a bad card to link. I haven't looked at any of his stats yet and obviously he has no dynamic image as of yet. But let's have a look at his stats then. So, oh, okay. So Greenwood flashbacks already. We've got a five star weak foot, three star skill moves, five foot six, high medium right foot. We've got no traits that are good for us. Oh, wow. So, not only do we have the freestyle skills, which is appalling at this stage of the game, 77 composure. That's going to be lovely to try and do. So, that definitely means that he needs a sniper. That will max out his shooting and pretty much just max out dribbling bar from the composure. That's, an, again, an annoying one. We've got 99 aggression, but 74 strength, 99 stamina, 99 agility, 98 balance. The card is very nicely statted. It's literally that one stat again. So main thing, if I was just going off kind of like a hunch off looking at the card, the skill moves are going to be an issue, and then the composure is going to be an issue. Everything else is relatively nice. He's a good height, maybe a little bit small, but I think that really can't be too much of a negative on this. We will max out the shooting, so that should be fine. Quite quick, good stamina, good aggression. Strength on the lower side, but again, left mid. You can't really be too mad. Good head and accuracy, um, which is weird because being 5'6", you'd imagine him not to be able to head the ball. But anyway, let's jump into the team. We'll see how he goes and we'll whack a sniper on him. So having him in the team, as you can see, we've set up pretty much the same as we've got this left side. We've got Tagliafico linking him with the Argentinian link. Very nice uh, very nice card that I haven't used yet, so I thought I'd give him a go. And then we have got a sniper on him, which, like I said, maxes out the finishing pretty much does everything for his shooting and dribbling maxes it out but we do get the 80 what is it, 82 composure I, I still don't think that's enough and that's going to be an issue but we'll go and try him out this is the team we're using and let's get into it into blanco we've got very limited skills with him uh, aggression's going to be a nice one to see how much of an effect that has because normally when i found someone with quite a high aggression it normally means that they're pretty they're pretty good at getting the ball back, or at least being in the position to get the ball back. Blanco, 1-2 with R9. Now find him through. Lovely little pass. Little dink into Eusebio. Go for the volley. First assist. Absolutely wonderful stuff right there. Very, very cheap. Goal's pretty much guaranteed if Eusebio is put in that position, but he's got it there. That's the main thing. Eusebio into Blanco again. We're going to go with a fake shot inside. We've got the pay. Oh, okay. That wasn't the fake shot that I wanted. Oh, it's inside. Finds R9 there. Across goal. Second assist. You gotta love it. Good passing. And pretty much 12 minutes in, we've got the rage quit. Two assists in his first game. I can't complain of that one bit. Blanco. Oh, goes for the attempt. To be honest, I didn't expect that to go anything. He kind of like pulled it back a little bit more than what I wanted it to. Across into Blanco. Oh, keeper with a great save. Blanco. And again. The problem with him is, again, the skill moves. It's very much like Greenwood, but a lot smaller. Into Blanco. He's found behind. Goes with a finesse. Oh, okay, the defender. Oh, we nearly managed to get in behind there. Blanco in behind again. Ah, it just, it just really struggles to get round. We've got no skills to do. Literally, if he just had the four, that's awful. If he literally just had the four-star skills, we'd be so much more made. Blanco 
into our nine. There we go. Oh, he's off the line again. Can we get it back in? R9 with a flick. Volley. Not quite. Salah's going to come in for another attempt now. We're going to flick it ourselves. And it's going to be blocked. On to Tagliafico. We can see him coming back. Can we get it in? No. Tagliafico is going to try and outrun Mbabu. Passes it across to Blanco. Drags. Inside. Finesse. Uh, no. No. He's going to get absolutely mullered. We found him again. Oh, we're offside. Blanco's going down the wing. We've got a very, very good opponent with a lot of team of the year. So let's see what he can do. He's got 99 Virgil coming at him. I'm going to pass it across. There's the assist. Exactly what we need from him. I don't feel like he's going to have much luck on the shooting side of it. There we go, Blanco. He's got the pace. Oh, nearly gets past Allison. Blanco down a wing. The pace on him is fantastic. That five foot six is brilliant on him as he just runs past everybody. The issue is there. No strength, no skill. That's the only issue with him right there. Blanco. Hey, first goal for the club. We love to see it. Cheeky finesse. So going into the overall then for Blanco, as you can see, 50k, 48 on PlayStation, 50 on the Xbox. For me, that's not a bad price, 94 rated. Like I did say, the composure is a little bit low. Um, that had some of an impact. I feel like as an assist player was absolutely phenomenal, as you can see from his long, uh, from his long and short passing, 96, 93. You can't argue with that. In terms of shooting ability, he had a little bit of a finesse on him. Obviously, no traits whatsoever. So, we we're kind of working with the basics very, very quick. Being 5'6", he felt like he was absolutely rapid down that wing. And very quick at turning. But without the 4-star or the 5-star skills, you kind of lack into what you can do. Maybe a cheeky ball roll, a little drag back, a fake shot. Other than that, there's not really much else you can do. A couple of step overs does tend to work every now and then. But... With the freestyle, it does feel like he doesn't have that kind of ability, the, the confidence as such, the, the quickness of doing them skills. Everything else about the card, bar from, again, the composure, felt good. Strength was a bit of an issue going against some of the big boy centre-backs. We had 99 Virgil in the final match. And yes, he felt like he was getting bodied every single time. But every time he manages to get past him or and, and managed to get round him, absolutely fine not a problem whatsoever he manages to get in got quite a few assists a couple of goals and you can't really argue with that i think for an 83 rated squad 50k i really don't think that's bad at all if we go over to which i believe it's sbc's by cheapest player the 94 rated is where's 94 is 94 is this one he is the cheapest by 50k for me, that is absolutely a brilliant bargain if you did want him just for fodder. A left mid and very, very cheap. So, at the very least, that is an incredible card to have just for fodder. In terms of adding a sniper onto him, turns him into a 97 left mid, a 98 left forward, and a 98 center forward. You can't argue with that. Like I said, you get a pretty much maxed out dribbling, maxed out pretty much on that shooting, and then everything else is already pretty highly rated. For me, he's not a bad card. Is he going to overtake anybody? Probably not. Maybe a super sub at best, and even then, I feel like there's quite a few decent players. It's just a nice little avenue to go into as well if you have got maybe an Argentinian team or someone just to add into the club just as an extra card. For me, that's not a bad little deal. Overall-wise, I'm giving him a 9 out of 10. Hopefully you'd enjoy. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.